Hey everybody, this is Nemo and in today's video we will have a look at my PrestaShop module search by category. Now, if you have ever been to Amazon, and who hasn't by the way, uh, you will have certainly noticed their category-wise search. Let me show you here, this one. So this uh, kind of functionality is lacking in PrestaShop and it's exactly what the module provides. Therefore, the search by category module will come in handy, especially to those of you who have significantly different departments in their stores. So let's go ahead and install the module. Uh, then we will give it uh, some basic configuration. For uh, Please notice that for this demonstration, I will be using PrestaShop 1.6. So uh, make sure you read the README in case yours is different, especially, <clears throat> especially sorry, uh, 1.4. Now, uh, I already uploaded the module here, but uh, of course you will have to click add a new module here and upload it or upload it directly using FTP. So as I already did it, I will look for a search by category and then I will hit install. And please notice, this module uh, overrides the search class, so you will have to manually move the class's PHP file in case you use 1.4. Now, uh, if I reach the front office and hit refresh, you can see the model uh, popping out here. It's a bit misaligned. It, we will eventually uh, move it later on, but uh, the ideal place is the very same one usually um, occupied by the default search and as you can see it also has about the same size. So by default this model supports two positions and the, it's top of pages and a column box. When you install it it will be placed at the top of pages only so refer to the readme to know how to move it to the left or right column. Uh, right now as you can see here, only all categories is available here. So let's add some new ones. I will go back to the back office and to add a new category, simply click here, one of these, and then hit add. Um, notice that if you uh, have many, many categories, you uh, might want to filter by parent ID to uh, shrink the huge list a bit. For example, uh, if you don't know what category ID belongs to which category, you can just have a look at catalog categories and the ID is this one, listed under the ID columns here. So I will add blouses, for example, then tops, and then I will also add for example, dresses, why not? Okay, categories uh, are, uh, have been added now. Uh, please notice that these are store specific, of course, as the model now fully supports the multi-store feature of PrestaShop. So just to show you here, if I go to the second store I have, no category have been added, has been added, so that's great. Okay, back to this one. Now let's refresh the front office to see changes taking place and you can see here the categories now appear now let's look for blouse for example inside dresses blouse search and you can see no results were found for your search blouse because there is no blouse inside dresses of course now let's look for it in blouses there it is. And the same happens, of course, if you hit all categories. Now, let's test tops, which is a parent category of uh, blouses. So, tops, blouse, search. Not working. Why? Well, because you can now switch on and off the subcategory search. So, uh, I disabled it in the back office and it's disabled by default when you install the module. So, let's go ahead and enable it to uh, see the result. So search and set categories, save. And this is a great new addition of the new version, by the way. I will search again. And now you can see 
we found blouse inside tops because uh, the blouse subcategory is a subcategory. Sorry, is a subcategory of tops. Finally, there is a very very huge addition to this uh, new version of the model. It is now able to locate products that contain the query string, not only that starts with. Uh, by default, Presta Shop wants you to search for things starting with example. So if I look for Laos, you can see no results. But look at what happens if I now enable search in the middle of words and then save. Go back, try again, and you can see we found Laos. This is just great. And uh, there is, uh, I uh, made some tests, and there is basically no significant uh, performance impact on, uh, on the search. Now, as an optional step, if you want to give your customers extra feedback on the search result page, you can use uh, this last box here and grab the snippet it contains to uh, be added to the search.tpl file. And again, if you have trouble watching the video, make sure you have a look at the readme. So, uh, reach the themes folder, which by default is uh, boot, uh, default bootstrap, default dash bootstrap uh, in the themes folder, and then open up, I already did it here, open up uh, search.tpl. And this is a template file, so again, uh, refer to the readme file if you're having troubles with this. I will go back here and grab the snippet. Oops. Now please notice, where is it? Please notice uh, there are two spots where you can add it. So first of all, locate this one, span class lighter, and this is the one that pops out when you have results, and add it. Then again, locate that no results were found for your search. Save. And now we should hopefully have uh, some feedback. And there it is. So as you can see here, I search for Laos and tops and I have a result. But if I search for Laos and dresses, then no result. And this is just some additional, again, additional and totally optional uh, step you can take to give your customers uh, a further level of feedback and uh, information about their search. Okay, so uh, we are done for this video. As always, feel free to contact me at nemo at nemops.com if you have other questions about the model.